we're here at IBC at the uh, opening of the Canon booth. And uh, today, I think it's probably the 30th time we've been at uh, IBC. We're showing a whole range of products uh, right across the range from our broadcast products to our Cinema EOS products. Well, uh, most, most interesting maybe this time is some of the firmware updates which we're making for the uh, Cinema EOS range. So on the C100, C300 and the C500, we have introduced 80K ISO recording. So this is going to be really uh, an amazing feature which we think uh, will add a whole set of creative options uh, for filmmakers across the industry. Well, basically this is going to give you shooting capability in really low light conditions. And uh, of course you can generate some noise in that, but from feedback with uh, users and testers of this mode, they feel that they'll be able to, to manage the footage and they'll be able to do a lot of post-production to remove any noise. So uh, we think it's going to make you know, new ways of shooting movies, new uh, sort of styles, a, ho a whole new sort of feeling that you're going to get out of some sort of movie situations. There's um, things like we've introduced two new color spaces on the C500. This is going to help uh, people who are working DCI-P mode. So you've got DCI-P3+, which is a, an extended color space, and we've got full cinema gamut, which is really, re you know, giving you the full color gamut from the uh, well-known sensor now that's in the C500. So that's going to make uh, uh, post-production a lot more exciting, we think, and it's also going to give people uh, chances, particularly in ACES workflow, to, to uh, uh, work more effectively and get more color out of it. Other products, uh, we've introduced a cinema, new Cinema ES Prime lens, which is a, a 35mm T5 Prime. This is adding to the five that we've already introduced, so it's the sixth in the set, which the whole market has been looking for. And these are beautiful lenses, really designed for cinematography. They're sort of uh, beautiful book, bokeh on them, and they've, uh, they're, they're a warmer lens than the EF, so, so well designed for cinematography. Yeah, so if you're looking for more information on all the firmware updates and the new products, uh, best place to go is to uh, CPN, Canon Professional Network. Just search CPN and Canon and you can't miss it. It's a great location, it's a great site and loads of information there.